Hi, happy September. I am so excited for fall and I have got so many fun things to show you today. I've got a lot planned for the month of September and I am really, really excited to jump in. So the first thing is the new Ami Club pattern. She comes out today, tomorrow, because I'm recording this the day before. This is Ruth the Red Fox. Get her looking at the camera. Isn't she adorable? I love, I especially love her tail. We had um, some foxes that lived uh, at our near our house in the mountains when we lived up in the mountains and um, there was they're usually very very shy and it's really special to get to see one but we had a pile of gravel in our yard for a little while for some projects ongoing projects that we were working on and there was one very persistent very brave fox who would sit on top of the gravel pile because she could see very well into the chicken coop and the chicken run around the garden from that spot. And she would be out there almost every day just hoping one of those chickens got out so she could grab her. But um, I like foxes anyway, even though they tried to eat my chickens. So this is Ruth, and this is another pattern designed by Alyssa Vosnack, who did the frog that you guys liked so much and the, um, the cute sea otter that we had just a couple of months ago. So this is Ruth the Red Fox, and I think she is adorable. So that is the new Ami Club pattern for the month. Make sure you go and download that um, as soon as you have a chance and save that to your computer. I've got a lot of projects from a lot of different crafts going on next month or this month, September. But one of the things that I'm super excited about while we're talking about Amikurumi is this yarn. So Santina made a sheep. So do you remember Sheila the sheep from last month? This was last month's pattern. And I used the Lion Brand Fun Fur yarn on that. And I really like that yarn for doing the eyelash, the, the fuzzy surface. It has very distinct long threads that give it a very fluffy look, but not a, a it's less dense than some of the other ones. But Santina stitched up a, a Sheila the Sheep and she used this yarn that she said was super, super nice. So I immediately ordered myself some, especially because it came in really bright colors. So this is Haiku Caribou Yarn, and um, it is really, really fluffy and soft. I haven't found the end of the purple one yet, so let me pull out. I got purple and lime green. I have no idea what I'm gonna make with these, but I love those colors and I love them together. And I just wanted you to see, this is a nylon yarn, and it is, it's, it's so soft. I mean, it's just delightfully soft. Um, and it feels much more feathery, if that makes sense. So it might be fun to do some birds with it, maybe some tufts on the top of the bird's head. I don't know. I'm, I might have to do a monster because purple and green is a great color for monsters. But I am definitely going to be playing with this yarn. And I am very, very excited. And um, yeah. That's a new yarn that I'm going to try. No idea what I'm going to make with it yet, but don't these colors look great together? Mm -hmm. So that is my kind of crochet project for the month. I've got an embroidery pro project planned for the month as well. So this is a book that a, a friend of mine wrote called Mandalas to Embroider, and it came out a while ago, and it's just been in my stack, and I haven't gotten to it, but I'm definitely going to make time for it this month. I love mandalas, and I love stitching mandalas, and this one has some really beautiful patterns, and they come uh, on transfer paper, which I, I never use because I use the silky, sticky fabric salvi, but um, this is a particularly nice pattern, I think. But it's got a lot of different mandalas in different sizes. She's got a bigger size and also a smaller size in there. And I might even, I think I'm going to order some of those little dandelion hoops. Um, they, they come in really, really small sizes, including one that would be a really nice necklace. So it's like a tiny little wooden embroidery hoop that would be a nice pendant. So that's an embroidery project that I'm going to be working on. Um, as soon as I get one transferred and pick out some autumnal colors to stitch it in. I also, speaking of fall colors, oops, I pulled this guy out of his hoop. If you remember, these are the bears I've been working on, and I'm going to put it close so you can see. I've done a bunch of the stitching in the top, and I'm, I'm quitting. <laughs> Not for a bad reason, although my, you can see from the back better how much stitching has been done. 
My husband was a little horrified when I pulled it out of the hoop and said, yeah, I'm not going to work on this anymore. I'm going to start over. But I'm starting over for the best of reasons, and that is because a bunch of you, like so many people, have asked me to make a pattern for this. And unfortunately, I didn't take any step-by-step -step photos while I was making it. I also didn't work from a pattern. I just kind of cut rectangles, but I didn't really measure them. And then I just hand cut um, hills and things out of them. So all of these are actually different shapes. Um, they're all the same general shape, but I didn't use a pattern to cut any of those. And I didn't uh, do any videos with any of the stitching that I did or anything like that. So I'm, I'm going to start over and this time I'm going to use a pattern so that other people can make it too because I don't think most of you guys I know don't want a pattern that says yeah, cut these rectangles a little taller than they are wide and then just cut some arches out of them and just slap them down and it'll all work out. So I know you want something that's got a little more planning and uh, testing behind it. I also, as I was working on it, thought of a couple of different ways that I could improve the process. So I am working on that and um, that's going to be a project you'll see me working on throughout the month and there will be a pattern for it at the end of the month. And I bought a Cricut Maker and I am probably, I haven't tested this out yet, I haven't even taken it out of the box yet, and I got it over a week ago. But I'm looking into um, offering some pre-cut hill shapes so that you don't have, and the, and the bears and the ears, so that you don't have to cut all those little shapes. So you can order them as a kit that's all the pieces, so you can re get right to the fun part and just slap them down in place and start with the hand stitching. I also am experimenting with a different thread company. Usually I use Sulky Petites, which I love, but the biggest size thread they have is 12 weight, and I really wanted to experiment with some eight weight and maybe even some five and three weight. So I've ordered some of those bigger threads because I think that it would be really nice on this project to have a lot of different thread sizes in it and sometimes be able to do like some big chunky French knots on some of the hills and things like that. So I'm going to do a little bit of playing with some different thread weights and I'm testing out another thread company to see how I like their threads and how they work on that project and trying to get colors that match the felt colors that are available to me. So that's all stuff that I'm going to be working on throughout the month. I also, when I took the bears out of the hoop, I put another placemat into the hoop. So I've got another improv placemat. So you can see this is the whole thing, like half of it has disappeared into the hoop, but you can see the general look. This time I did it with all irregular but smaller squares. And you can see some of the stitching. Again, this is all hand stitched with the big stitch quilting that I love so much. And for this, I do use the Sulky 12 weight petites. They just work great for the big stitch quilting. So that is a project. I am almost ready to move it to the other side of the placemat. And then I have one more placemat to go for a set of four. But at least when I finish this one, I'll have three. And everyone in my family will have a placemat, which, um, which will be nice. So I've got one other project that's kind of a leftover from last month, but I'm still finishing it up. And I'm going to just show it to you here. So this, get this back as far as I can. There's nothing on the wall behind me. Well, there's one face up there, but there's no big project on the wall behind me because I just took this down and sewed it up yesterday and I'm working on the binding now. So you'll see that one end of this still has all of the clips on it for the binding, but this is a new version of the Noisy Farm quilt all with sashing added to it and I've taken away the half blocks because the sashing is just easier to do with the square blocks. So here's the quilt and I always get people who want to see what the back of these quilts as you go quilts look like so I thought I would show it up, hold it up and show you guys the back. So you can see the only quilting that I do in that final round of quilting is around each of these, so I just do one long seam down on one side of that sashing strip and then again down the other side of the sashing strip and I go all the way across on both sides of each sashing strip so that on the back you just get like a big grid. But because you can do the quilting on the blocks first, each individual block has all kinds of more detailed quilting in it. If I can 
hold these up in a way that you can see them. So that is, that's my big lap uh, evening watching TV quilt right now. So that's what we've got going on this month. I'm also going to make a rag quilt, which I've never made, but I have one that I really love that my mother-in-law made for me, and I'm using that as a model for one that I'm going to make. Hers is just flannel and denim, and I'm going to do a flannel one with applique on it. And I've been meaning to do this for a long time. Um, I can't show you anything because the flannel is still on order. I'm waiting for it to arrive. But I'm going to do the Woodland Critters quilt as a flannel rag quilt. So um, I'll be showing that the process of that as soon as that flannel arrives, I'll be jumping into that project and you'll be seeing some ongoing photos of that project as I go along. So I've got a new quilting project, a new machine quilting project, a new hand sewing project with the bears in the hills, an embroidery project with the mandala book, and the, the new yarn that I'm going to be playing with in Amigurumi, and I'm also going to be designing the October Amigurumi pattern, and I have an idea that I hope works out for that, but I haven't started stitching on that yet. So I have lots and lots of projects this month in all of the different craft areas that we cover here at Shiny Happy World, and I am super, super excited to get started. Have a great month, everyone. I'll see you in October.